I dare you to go to a Barnes and Nobles after this video and take a look at the manga shelf and the comic book shelf. And then you tell me what is actually selling. Because I'm telling you right now, Barnes and Nobles is not going to put more of something that is not selling. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Hello guys, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that little bell right there so that you can get notifications every time I upload a video, okay? Enjoy! What is up guys, this is your boy Andy Matrix, welcome to Andy RCB, where I talk about anime, movies, video games, geek culture, and Japanese culture. And I absolutely love talking about manga versus comic books because... <laughs> well, number one, usually because I'm right, and I am one of the people out there on the internet who actually revealed that Demon Slayer is actually actually outsold the entire comic book industry. Yes, this is true. And Anime News Network even wrote an article about it. And Clownfish TV even talked about it on one of their videos. Yes, guys. And I'm not saying that to brag, but seriously, and I, I just love talking about this. I've been a long time anime fan and I gave up on comic books and a lot of you know some Amer some American entertainment because it was just boring. It just wasn't cool. It just you know it just just for my taste. But anyways, um, in this in the following video, I'm going to show you how Barnes and Nobles has 12 bookshelves, 12 shelves worth of manga, and only four shelves worth of comic books. And those comic books are mainly Marvel and DC. You know, it's not like it's not like they have comic books from Dark Horse and Impact and a whole bunch of other comic book publishers. No, it's only Marvel and D mostly Marvel and DC and a lot of the Avatar The Last Airbender stuff is there. Um, so yeah, here you go. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys like how big the manga section is in Barnes & Nobles. Okay, so look, here we have an entire four shows, one, two, three, four, right? And then if I turn around, poof, another one. One, two, three, four. And actually, if we go around, we have another one. One, two, three, four. So that's already, that's 12 shells of manga, right? Of manga only. And yeah, I think it's actually 16 if we go over here on this side. Oh, actually, so there's actually 12 shells of manga and only four shells of graphic novels, comic books, right? Okay. So manga, manga shells compared to comic book shells, I mean, <laughs> it tells you what's selling. It absolutely tells you what's selling. This is the, uh, this is comic books and the manga over there got 12 shelves guys 12 freaking shelves welcome back so what did you think i mean really that was me at barnes and nobles right here in the state of connecticut and i'm using my cell phone camera to just go around and film this thing hopefully you know hoping that you know the staff you know the employees would not like <laughs> tell me to stop filming but yeah so these huge shelves and I'm walking around and they're all they're all filled with manga and then you go to the comic book section it's just a small little section so that basically tells you what is actually selling okay Barnes & Nobles is not gonna put something you know it's not they're not gonna put up books that are that are not you know selling or, or making money so <clears throat> this is a fact that manga it's really uh, uh, it's really taking over uh, you know comic books in america and a lot of a lot of comic book companies i think who was it comicron they like to count manga as comic book sales but the reason why we call it manga is to distinguish it from the american style of comic books so really it is manga that is you know that is creating the big numbers uh in sales in in the comic book industry not actual american comics themselves 
What is up everybody? Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can receive new future notifications. Check out the blog at andyrtv.com. Follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts or anything you want to say right below this video in the comments below. This is Andy Matrix. Thank you for watching. Godspeed everybody. Godspeed.